Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the first time, thank you so very much. I greatly appreciate it. My name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I am here this morning with a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with you all kinds of fun, exciting new items, lots of makeup, um, some new socks. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Every single item in this video is a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I'm currently living, and that is in the state of New York. All right, let's jump into it, and I'm going right into the makeup department. Um, something that's a little bit boring, but I definitely need, and that is some makeup wipes. And this is a 25-count pack by Global Beauty Care, so I picked up a package of those. Also came across some more new makeup bags. These are really cute. They're in like a mesh type of material. They're a really good size. Uh, they measure nine inches in width and six inches in height. Here is the first one and it says makeup. There's nothing on the back. Um, it's like I said, it's a mesh. These are really nice size. Let me open it up all the way and you can see that that is a good size bag. The width on this is three and a half inches. So you could fit quite a bit in there. It does have a zipper top. So I found this one in pink that says makeup. This one in black that says the essentials. And this one's just as big. They're all the same size by the time you spread them apart. Again, they're by Sassy and Chic. And the third one I found, and I don't know how many there are. This one here also says the essentials but it's done in a really pretty purple. Love that color. Absolutely love it. All right, also in the makeup department, a new makeup mask. Uh, this one is Hyaluronic Acid Bubble Face Mask Treatment by Bio Miracle Skin Therapy. Hadn't seen that before, so I grabbed myself one of those. This I think is a super bargain. I was actually looking up the price of these. Um, I looked at Target and Walmart and both of these were over $3 each at both stores. This is Totally um, Hydration New Chapstick Warm Nude Tinted Moisturizer. It's a full-size tube. Um, <clears throat> I actually grabbed four because I thought that was such a great buy. There they are right there. I think that is an awesome buy for a buck and a coin. Like I said, I brought the exact same product up at Target and Walmart, and they were both over $3 each. So uh, that was the only color that they had in the chapstick. Came across these, and I thought these were kind of cool looking. These are by Sassy and Chic as well, and it's a makeup blender storage container. They had a few different colors. They had one that was like a peachy pink color. I, I wasn't feeling it at all, so I grabbed a blue one. And then, of course, I had to grab a purple one and I'm so glad I did. So let me open this up and show it to you. So if you keep your makeup and stuff, you know, on a certain place or a counter or a sink, they have this little suction cup that you can just get it a little damp and attach it to your sink. And then when you're done with your makeup sponge, just slip it right in there. You could actually clean it, run the water right through if you wanted to. It almost looks like a little mini microphone. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, um, yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool. So I grabbed two of those. Also in the makeup beauty department, they had this by Sassy and Chic. It's a cleansing dual facial brush, and it's in this pretty, pretty pink color. It's a nice size brush. You've got a scrubber on one side, and then you've got brushes on the other. This, I think, was an awesome find too. Now, for those of you that shop makeup know how expensive makeup can get, especially when you're dealing with brand names like Revlon. Oh my goodness. These are full size tubes. Revlon Lip Color, Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tints. I found several colors and I bet they're gonna be hard to read because they're in this packaging. So I'll do the best I can. This is number 270. I'm not gonna be able to read the color, but there is the tube itself again by Revlon. So I found this color. I also found this color. And then we have this color. I'm not even gonna bother to try because the numbers are on the bottom and they're so small. So there's those three colors. And then I found two other ones and I'm gonna open one because I'm very, very curious what the tips look like on these. So let's open this one here. 
I don't think I've ever seen this version before. Okay, so Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. There it is right there. And now it's all sealed in plastic. Oh my goodness, do I have scissors? No, I don't need them. Not too bad today. I won't sing no songs. All right, so it's got like a spongy thing. So I'm assuming you have to bring the color down into the sponge. So let's see what happens here. We'll do this together any day now. Hmm. Well, I see something starting to come out. <laughs> really? This is uh, the way I roll on my channel, you guys. What, am I doing something wrong? Is there something to push on? This is why I like to try products out because nothing's happening. All right, I must be doing, I feel like oil, which it's a lip oil, but I don't see any color. Really? Hmm. I think the color should be coming out by now. All right, I don't, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Um, This is live. Let's try again. Let's try a color that's a bit darker, because if these are going to be a flop, then they are going back with their receipts. All right, so let me take the plastic off this one. This is number 260, by the way. There's another one. So let's see what we got going on here. I guess this isn't quite how I wanted this video to go. But then again, if this stuff ain't going to work, then let me be the guinea pig and not all of you. Unless I'm doing something wrong, I'm going to get a little pissy now. All right. I just got pissy. So I'm moving those to the side. Um, I don't know. I'm going to mess with them a little bit more. I don't want to waste any more airtime because I'm getting frustrated. Unless I'm doing something wrong, I need to check it out. So let's move on a little bit. I was excited about those. Okay. In the hair department, Shea Solutions made with organic Shea butter, deep moisturizing shampoo, moisturizing effect, eight fluid ounces. So I grabbed me some of that. Also, to go with it, I grabbed the same company, the same brand, their leave-in conditioner. I had heard by a couple people mentioned that this stuff was really good, so I'm going to give it a try. The next container is also Shea Solutions Curl Stretch Cream Moisturizing Effect. I did smell a couple of these, and they smell really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying them out. The next one is Deep Conditioning in Co-Watch. And I grabbed one of those as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. The little kids in the little kids department, they have these cute little toothy brushes. They're made by Fisher Price, which is a brand name. Um, they're adorable. I actually got two packages. Um, but if you can see their little characters on there, they're so cute. Again, they're Fisher Price. So I grabbed two of them. In the sweets and treats department, I picked up these Junior Egg Mints. Yummy in your tummy. I'm going to add them under the tree with all those sweets and treats under there. The next thing, socks. I have some socks. And hopefully these I don't have to try out any because they should work just fine. All right. A new find for me, Angry Birds Crew Socks. I think there's 36 or 37 different pairs of these socks floating around. But every time I go, I'm finding new ones as well. I hadn't seen this one before. Fanta, orange Fanta. There it is. If I pull the sock up some more, you can see the actual. Well, there's a better shot of the can. So it's orange Fanta. And then ring pops, which I thought was really fun. Hadn't seen this one before. That's going to do it for the socks. I did have one other novelty light projector I wanted to share with all of you. This one's geared more towards like astronauts and spaceships. These do require AAA batteries, three of them. I have two other projectors I showed the other day that I'm going to share with you and have them all lit up. This would be a cool toy for anybody. So your batteries are going to go right there in the bottom. That's gonna be your on and off switch. And then this is what it actually looks like. And you're gonna get lights that shoot through the top too. So let me bring it in close so you can see, first of all, there's our solar system. And then we have all kinds of flying objects going on here and spaceships, all different things, a shooting star, stars, the moon. 
So this would look really cool lit up in a room. So I'm going to end up lighting all three of them and sharing a video so I can show you what they look like. So that's the third one I have found. I don't know how many different versions are out there. Also in the kids department, they had some, you know, kind of squishy toy things. I came across this clear squishy ball thing and it's got all these other big balls, big balls, little balls inside of here to play with. And then I found this purple one. It's called a bouncy ball and it does bounce. And then it said it lights up. And I was like, okay, well, I got a purple one and I'm like playing with it and trying to, oh, there it goes. But it does bounce. <laughs> so it just has different lights. You know, the kids get a hot kick out of seeing something splashing and stuff like that. All right, over in the Crafter Square department, <clears throat> which I'm not sure if this was the place for these to be, but who am I to say? Well, they are stickers, so maybe that's why. This is called a company... Uh, DIY fashion gems. These are like really cool looking stickers. Um, it's not going to tell me how many are in this package. So I'm just going to share it with you. So here is the first one. You can use these on, oh my gosh, shoes, phone covers, mirrors, glasses, all kinds of things. I'll bring it in a little closer. Do you see all the light blinging off those? How cool are those for scrapbooking? They also had these that look like this. So pretty. The next one, and they're all on little strips. And it says right here, you can use on footwear, tech accessories, sunglasses, and more. Includes the stickers and the actual gems. Here's the next one. Let me get the glare off for you. Isn't that pretty? Aren't those pretty colors? It reminds me of a yeah, what are, I just lost my train of a light bright. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, they remind me of a, like this video is already screwed up so much. Um, next one here is super cute. All different like designs. Love the colors. They're so vibrant. And last but not least, this would be pretty for like weddings, doing stuff for weddings. There they are right there. Very, very pretty. All right, I did pick up one hairband, uh, which I thought was really, really pretty. This one is just fashion mode, so it's one of their Dollar Tree ones, but look at this one. Now, let's pretend that tag's not there. Look at how pretty that is. We have all kinds of lace, and the lace is kind of tucked in a little bit, but look at how wide the actual lace is around this. Lots of stretch going on here, and there it is up close. How pretty in that someone's hair up or something. I love headbands, and this one I just thought was very unique and different. Alrighty, I do have some other things I want to share with all of you, <laughs> but that Revlon's got me all pissed off, um, so I'm going to check that out. There's still nothing coming out of here, and I, I'm just trying to think, like, did I do, what, did I do something wrong? Are you supposed to twist it? <gasps> I just twisted it. <laughs> I got to learn to keep my mouth shut, so I just heard something twist. So I'm just going to go back to this for a second. I, I don't know what you guys hear that twisting. So something is twisting in there, but I'm not. All right. I've wasted enough time. I'm pissy until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And this is all about me keeping it real. I don't want to cut all this stuff out because you want to know that, right? Why go waste a bucket of coin if something's not going to work? And two of them aren't working for me, but I'll try to figure it out. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.